Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Howard Huang. Uh, I work in Huawei as a standard engineer for various uh, standard organizations and also a community operation manager for uh, OpenStack, OpenV, and OVS. Uh, you can find me uh, on Twitter with the handle an open killer uh, with the Ply9 uh, bunny as an avatar. Okay, so um, why the shocking title, right? So one of the reasons is to get to the main conference, obviously. Uh, the real reason is that we believe uh, customer uh, nowadays uh, want storage services to be uh, as more agile uh, and as uh, simple as possible for them to deploy. So, if for uh, for certain service uh, they want to provision the storage part of it, uh, the customer uh, want want the storage part uh, the same as any other. For example, uh, network and compute. And if you look at uh, the trend of the storage industry, um, how the trend go. Uh, we start with the uh, traditional uh, NAS, uh, DAS, and then we have the uh, hot buzzword uh, SDIs, right? Software-defined storage. And we believe the, the next step would be to truly enable a storage virtualization, which would enable uh, the customer uh, to you know uh, to 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 deploy their storage service uh, as uh, as simple as possible to uh, enable the customer to deploy some high-end storage services, for example, enterprise ERP uh, onto the cloud, and uh, to enable customer to have a unified experience with the uh, storage service. So. What we uh, have in mind is the concept of storage function virtualization, uh, SFV. So what is SFV? If you are familiar with uh, the networking industry, uh, NFV. So basically, NFV is uh, virtualized uh, traditional uh, networking functions, for example, load balancers, uh, firewalls, switches, routers. Uh, the virtualized, uh, those in the uh, either VM or container uh, to have uh, what they call VNF, uh, virtual networking function. So for SFV, we believe that the next step for storage is to uh, have a similar trend that we could uh, have traditional uh, storage functions like, for example, NAS, or if we want to have uh, HDFS, Ceph, run them all in uh, either VM or container uh, or like that. Okay, so um, uh, obviously uh, you you cannot uh, just simply uh, virtualize those uh, functions into VM because you will have a, a performance penalty. So in order to do that, you need to uh, put some tweaks on uh, the hypervisor, for example, KVM, and you also need help of a uh, very high-speed uh, transport, a uh, new transport protocol uh, such as NVMe or NVMe over Fabric, right? And uh, for OpenStack, we believe SFV also have uh, a great impact on the whole OpenStack ecosystem. So as, as you can see in the uh, figure, uh, I think, for example, heat, uh, we need to enhance heat to be able to uh, automatically uh, provision the uh, storage services. We need to enhance Nova and Cinder to make them uh, especially for Cinder, uh, to make it uh, be able to manage uh, those local uh, local storage with uh, very high speed uh, transport, and also DPS is the data uh, protection service. If you uh, have uh, attend uh, a session earlier, that uh, that was a new service proposed by Huawei and IBM called Smog. Uh, it's a hypervisor-based uh, uh, DR service, basically. And also, you have Manila. So this is the overview. So here's just a uh, sample workflow of uh, what SFV uh, impact on OpenStack 
So uh, we enhance uh, Cinder, for example, uh, on filter to enable more localized uh, compute and storage, filter for uh, volume uh, with anti-affinity uh, rules. And then you could have a, a, a unified uh, management plan for either you know, the traditional LVM driver or what HSDP stands for is high-speed uh, data pass driver. Uh, for example, uh, the, the driver support uh, NVMe or other uh, very high-speed uh, transport uh, protocol enable you to use SSD, MVD. So um, we have proposed uh, several blueprints, as you can see here. Uh, in the L release, uh, but because uh, we uh, propose them uh, rather in the middle of the cycle, and if you know the long queue of Nova and uh, Cinder, so uh, some of them uh, have been dropped from L, but we will resubmit uh, them for the Mitaka release, and we also welcome uh, if any of you is interested uh, in this concept, in this idea, uh, work with us together to help pushing uh, those BPs along to, uh, to you know, uh, get OpenStack to be able to support SFV. Okay, um, as you may already know, uh, in order to make software function virtualization a uh, real solution, uh, OpenStack is uh, not the whole story. Uh, for example, uh, we, we uh, on the container side, we may uh, need collaboration on development, uh, for example, in OCI, as it's a container standard uh, in CNCF. Uh, Kubernetes and Mesos support on the story side. Also, for example, the Flocker uh, development, or we could use Hyper, uh, that's a container plus a, a good trick on container plus hypervisor or uh, OSV, which is unikernel, uh, the, 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 the latest uh, tech bit by the OSV people is the Skylar DB, which is C++, uh, basically, I think, Cassandra, uh, Cassandra in C++. So uh, also on the hardware side, uh, the newly established uh, Kinetic Open Storage project uh, the, the object drive uh, ecosystem or OCP, Open Compute uh, Project. Uh, so we believe all those uh, open source projects, uh, we need uh, collaboration on development. Uh, uh, if uh, that's actually truly is uh, going to happen as the next stage of the storage evolution. And uh, Below, there are several ways that you could connect with us. Uh, I think you could, well, not now, but in the uh, near future, you could uh, search FFV, uh, SFV in the OpenStack Dev mailing list. You could join the discussion. There's a Google group established, and you could also uh, just uh, putting up issues in the GitHub account. There's a GitHub account, or more trendy, you know, use uh, Slack. We also have a Slack account here, and there we are. And uh, you know, questions are welcome offline. Thank you.